everybody and welcome back. So in this video we're going to be doing some painting. You can see behind me I have some parts. Uh, I just wanted to show you guys like an overview of my spray booth setup because I don't know that I've gone in detail uh, into the setup that I do have. So I'll show you guys. Uh, this is what I'm painting. I have the cowl for my uh, accord as well as the taillight uh, bezels here that go around the outside of the lenses. The lenses I have in the, a separate room, those are going to get clear coated afterwards. And I have the wiper arms here too. So all this stuff is going to get some uh, single stage black paint, which I have over here. Um, kind of a messy bench, but I got some single stage black paint here that I'm going to mix up. And I think I'll do one coat of just this, and then a second coat with clear in it. And then I will determine if I need to do another coat. But uh, I should be able to get it done in hopefully two coats and get decent coverage on all this stuff as long as I go heavy enough. Maybe just like a, maybe I'll do like a light dust coat on the beginning one a second coat of that and then the third coat will be with with clear and then I think I'll call it quits. I think that's what I might do. Still deciding uh, and we'll mix it up. I got reducer here, prep I already wiped everything down with this wax and grease remover. Um, so yeah, I just want to show you guys the booth setup. What I have up here is a hose coming out of the wall and you can see I got my uh, humidity and temperature right here. It is 70 degrees in here and partially because we have the spray booth filters up top which I just have like uh, filters from Home Depot they're like you know uh, furnace filters or something like that and I got them all put into a piece of plywood and they seal up by the top here so I'm pulling air from the attic which is nice and warm because the sun's baking on the roof up there so that'll heat up and as the day moves on and the sun gets directly overhead uh, it is like 11 o'clock now so the sun's getting more and more direct so we should see that temperature go up which 70 degrees is honestly pretty decent for painting. If we got it up past that, I wouldn't be too upset. When I painted my car in here, it was so hot. It was like uh, 80 in here. When I painted my brother's uh, Tahoe, it was almost 90 to 100 degrees in here because I was pulling that hot attic air. I was sweating, but the paint was drying so fast too. It was almost an issue for me, um, but I ended up getting it to work out. But it was super hot in here, so that made it difficult. But uh, I do have this hose that runs over here to this full face 3M respirator that I adapted and this hose that I, you saw coming out of the wall right here is actually a hose from a supplied air respirator system that I got off of Amazon. So I bought this hose, it looks like it's starting to corrode here, but it was pretty expensive hose but it is nice and it does come all the way into the other room. I used to have this routed outside but I'll show you my other setup for uh, the rest of it It is in this other room. So if you come through here, you can see this is another room. This is where I have my uh, taillight lenses right here. And I've got my Ego leaf blower right here. So this is something that I already had. And uh, this is actually my dad's idea to do. I didn't uh, at the time think it was going to work. So I tried some other stuff with a blower motor and all sorts of different things. But uh, this is a brushless motor here. And I think that it's only good to use a brushless motor because there's no brushes arcing. And this thing actually provides nice clean air and you can see the motor in here is just a fan here just an electronic powered fan and it does really crank pretty good and through these reducers for vacuum cleaners i was able to reduce it down to fit this hose which sort of threads into this little section here and i make sure i put some duct tape on everything to seal it and it does a pretty good job at keeping all the pressure in and all these reducers uh, end up working out for me and it runs right up and i'm lucky enough to be able to drill through the wall into this room. There used to be a TV here and the hole was there so I drilled it just a bit bigger and uh, now we have this hose coming through the wall and sucking from here. I used to do it from outside uh, except one time somebody put the uh, somebody put it down next to a turd outside and so I was smelling dog poop while I was painting and that was uh, less than ideal. So now should be a bit better. Uh, we're not going to be smelling the poop so it always is a nice uh, to pull from in here because it's nice clean air and in the garage I'll show you back in here the rest of my spray booth setup but yeah so over here I have my fan where I have it set up with my cutout here and you can see outside through the fan and this guy goes directly outside here and there's a cutout in this nice composite uh, wood that I bought here. Uh, I forget what they call this stuff. Um, uh, uh, 
uh, it'll come to me. But yeah, so I got it there. And I also have it up here at the top panel in the garage. I'll give you guys a look from the outside and uh, that way you can see what I'm talking about. But basically I try to seal where the garage opens up here because it leaves a gap. So I have that sealed and the bottom sealed. And with all that, uh, and this thing when cranked on high, there is like a really good negative pressure in this room. So it really actually sucks pretty good. You can see it even sucks this door open over here. So there's a bit of air leaking from there. But what it really does is pull the air from this filter. And if I stand right here, I can feel the warm air coming out of there. I can feel the heat radiating from here. So it really does pull a good suction and it warms this room up pretty nice, as well as keeps all the air that's coming in for the most part filtered because it can suck pretty freely from up there. Um, so that's pretty good and it should keep the dust down. Uh, it does keep the fumes ventilating and this whole draft setup, in addition to the fresh air respirator and wearing a hood and gloves and a full body suit, I think makes it uh, relatively safe to spray in a garage. Otherwise, it really isn't safe and I did run into problems with my lungs when spraying in the garage. I think I may have caused something in the past, a bit of a sensitivity to it for myself and it was a scary thing. I wasn't sure if I was gonna be able to paint my car, but safety is really important when it comes to your lungs and chemicals and your eyes and all these sorts of things. You have to really take it seriously. So I know this may be boring to some of you, but there's a lot that goes into this whole painting system and apparatus. I spent a lot of time perfecting it and uh, I'm pretty proud of it because I think it does uh, lead to a, a nice job because I'm able to focus on spraying and not focus on my health and things like that because that's all taken care of with this system but I, I don't know if I explained the mass quite well but the way the air comes in here it blows in so hard that there's a positive pressure and there's a valve here and this valve basically is a one-way valve air can only come out so when I inhale it sucks air from here uh, and when I exhale it comes out over here and that way when the when I'm not doing anything this valve is shut and this air is coming in positive pressure into this mask and it forces the air out which helps to make sure that you know we don't get any air in there that we're not supposed to so I'm not breathing in any chemicals that I shouldn't be as long as the air is always forced into the mask I shouldn't ever breathe in any outside air so uh, that's the goal any gaps in the mask around here uh, should be alleviated based on that. So I'm gonna go ahead and shave my face too to make sure the hair doesn't uh, you know, cause any gaps. But the best way to do this is with a fresh air respirator, honestly. But yeah, as promised, here's that outside view. So you can see I have uh, these two pieces of board here and this one goes across the top to block it. So it pretty much seals off all the way across the top. It's not a great seal, but it traps air for the most part. And down here, I also have this other board which is sealed pretty good. I have the garbage can pushing against it. And uh, yeah, whatever comes out of here is gonna blow nice and far. And this fan actually has pretty good, uh, you probably won't be able to hear it because I got a dead cat on, but yeah, it does work ni quite nicely, honestly. And I moved all the cars that actually matter out of the way. Uh, this guy, he may get a little overspray, but that's all good. That thing's gotta get junked anyway. But uh, yeah, so this thing is uh, ready to go. A lot of setup for this, but we're ready to spray and uh, then we'll be ready to assemble the car thankfully it's sitting over there just waiting just waiting to be assembled so I just got done painting I'll show you guys what happened and uh, but I just want to show you guys that the negative pressure here is enough to, to slam this door all the way from over there this door wants to close so it's, there's a lot of pressure which is exactly what you want it means no uh, fumes are going to escape and no dust is going to get in uh, so this room actually did warm up pretty nicely. 79 degrees in here. As you can see we got 79 degrees and outside it's actually only 73. So it's much warmer than it is outside. And the finished result is honestly really nice. I'm really happy with the way it all turned out. Nice and glossy, pretty flat. It turned out really good. And I think it's going to look really nice on the car. And uh, I can't wait to get it all put on there. We're going to have to let it all dry obviously. So I'm waiting on this stuff to dry enough to where I can move it and I'll put it outside and then I'll focus on my lenses. So I got the arms done too. So everything came out really good. We got no runs on anything it looks like. So yeah, really looks like I know what I'm doing. We only got a few pieces of dust in the paint and you're going to get that painting in a garage. But for the most part, this is a, it's a pretty dust free job. There's no, no big pieces of dust in there. 
And I didn't even tape off the door or anything like that, so we did really well. All right, I've got all the other parts drying in the basement. I moved them there for now. It is now 84 degrees out here, so we are cranking. We got nice temps. It's gonna be nice to paint. I'm definitely sweating. So uh, I got everything all set up. I may tape these down so they don't blow away on me when I'm spraying, but I got all the lenses set up. They're all prep sold, ready to go. So I'm just gonna come through and tack rag them, and then I'm gonna throw a light coat of clear down on it first, get it to stick really good, and then we'll come back in with some nice uh, heavy coats, try to get it to lay down nice and flat, and we gotta leave ourselves some room so that we can wet sand and buff these. That's probably what I'm gonna end up doing because I'm super crazy about this kind of stuff. Always wet sand and buff everything, and I think it'll add that next level of shine. So we'll have that coming up later on, but for right now, we're gonna go ahead and get these things painted. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix up the paint here and uh, start shooting. I, I'm thinking I might put a little bit of black tint in there just to give it a little bit of a tint, but uh, not a lot, just a little bit. Maybe just a couple of drops. We'll see how it comes out looking, uh, but I'm pretty happy with it so far. They look like they're uh, nicely scuffed. I hope that all the scratches will fill. These were hit with uh, 600 grit, so I guess we will see. I got everything kind of test fit, all mocked up, and uh, it's all thrown on here just for uh, just for the visual. It looks really sick, guys. The black and the red and everything. Um, it's really gonna look sweet. I'm probably just gonna glue them and throw them on, and uh, at some point later I will sand them and all that good stuff. But uh, I'll wet sand them off at a later date. I just want to get the car together for now, and it's all done. So I don't know that I'm going to touch it tonight. It seems like it, it may be ready tonight, late tonight. I can try to, try to glue them together, but I'm still leaving some fingerprints in the black here. I'm checking some areas that you're not going to see. Still see my fingerprints, so the black's still drying, so i got to make sure that I don't touch it or uh, make a mess on it. But I am starting to put all the other stuff together. I may grab the third brake light, do the wiring on this, put it in, and uh, not have to worry about uh, adding in my load resistors if I can find them. I'm doing that now. So yeah, we're looking pretty good here all set up um, Yeah, this is about it guys. This is what I was waiting for. This is the moment of truth It looks really sweet. I'm happy very stoked So I'm gonna keep the booth running here to keep these things drying 79 still warm in here uh, Once it gets cold outside and uh, it stops heating up in here. I'll go ahead and open the doors and air it out and uh, I'd love to test fit them on the car, but I just gotta be patient and I just gotta wait until I can glue them and then I should be able to uh, proceed with installing them. So yeah, just playing the waiting game now. I gotta be patient and the cowl as well, that's gotta get installed, but I want it to be nice and dry before I go putting my paw prints all over it. So I probably will just let everything uh, spend the night here and I'll glue it tomorrow or uh, yeah, we'll see how impatient I get tonight just staring at it. but. Very happy with everything. It all looks super good. Running, they do blink all the way. It's doing that high idle thing, so it's kind of screaming. But they do blink all the way. So that's good news. Here it is, everything on. Actually, we still gotta turn on the tails. Just reminds me of how much work is involved in this. <laughs> so many different parts of the puzzle here, all coming together. Uh, like I said before, these don't come on when the car is running. These will blink all the way. And then I got all these lights here. It's just a wall of lights. These white ones are super bright, so I think they'll probably work pretty good as reverse lights. But everything's on. Everything's ripping right now. And uh, yeah, glad to see it's all working. And uh, I'm happy with the way everything looks. I think it's pretty sweet. I can't wait to put the lenses on. Even these side markers look awesome. 
So, yeah, you can see that they're all individual in there. You guys probably can't see much, but yeah, really came out good, guys. Pretty stoked. Just got to put these lenses on. So I'm going to get some silicone. I'm going to squeeze them together and uh, slap them on, and then I'll see what they look like while everything's uh, all together. So I did do one. I did the smaller one just to, you know, go nice and easy. Just really work into it nice and slow. And I did the smallest of everything, and it turned out really good. I really put the silicone in there pretty well, I think. I didn't put, like, an excess, but I can see that it is oozing in there, and I think I put a really good amount. I think it's probably touching it everywhere, and that's exactly what I want, but not oozing out all over my nice paint job. So nice bead in there and I clipped it all in I like that these all clip in it's pretty nice so yeah should never have to take it apart if I do I'm definitely gonna wreck this whole thing and everything so if anything ever uh, malfunctions on here I'm probably just gonna cry and leave it at that and then uh, yeah so we should be alright but these are that's just the way that these things go and like that's the thing about making these for people um, you guys don't know the issues I've had with them and I know it's like the prototype and all that stuff but there's going to be issues with all of them. I make mistakes. Everybody makes mistakes. You guys could wire them wrong, and then you could be fighting me about it. And I know you, anybody, any one of you could say that you, you wouldn't, but, you know, if you spent all this money, $500 or something, for these taillights, and they don't work, you're going to be upset. And it'll be my fault, but I, you know, maybe I can't help you. you got to send them back. It's just, it could be a disaster, and I know that it will be. Just That's just the way it goes. So... Based on that, these are going to be just for me. You guys are welcome to make yourself a set, but uh, these are going to be my one-off lights, and I think that uh, that's pretty cool, in my opinion, and I think that I like having the only set, you know? And it's not that I don't you know, want to see other people with them. I'd love for you guys to do this for yourself, but, you know, I just think uh, I like being able to rock it because I put the effort in myself, and that's and that's why I achieved it. And it's not that I don't want other people to have it too, but you know, I just I like that I worked for it and I made it look this cool because you know this is exactly what I had envisioned. So I'm gonna probably I don't know if I have enough silicone here. Um, I'm gonna try to find another tube. I think I have another tube somewhere. And if I have enough, I'll do a big one too, and I'll finish the set. But if I don't have enough, then I'll just uh, then I'll just have to wait until I get more silicone tomorrow, and then we can do some more. But yeah, anyway, it's looking really good. I'm going to work on the third brake light a little bit too and uh, see if we can get that all mounted. But yeah, it's it's coming along, guys. It looks really sweet. So we're in a nice beat in there. And I still do have some left, but I don't think I would have had enough to do the full one. Guys, I got one glued. It came out awesome. I ran into a little issue. I had to use the heat gun to warm it up just so I could jam the lens on the last bit. But everything fits great. It looks like OE, you know, like you can't even tell that these lenses have been modified when everything's off. I mean, you can see it's got a little, uh, little different look going on. There's like some little LEDs in there that you can definitely make out. But uh, it's really, it's pretty inconspicuous with the lights off. I'm gonna turn them off to show you. You can see, you know, I, actually, all right, they look a little different. You, you can definitely see these outlines here, but uh, yeah, I guess you know there's something up, but it is just still a stock housing, so it doesn't look too out of the ordinary, you know, just sitting like this. It looks pretty normal, but I do like the deep look that it gave uh, with the black on the inside and the slight tint to it. I think it's going to be uh, pretty nice in the end. It's still definitely red. It's definitely not tinted that much but I think it adds that uh, cool look to it that uh, I wanted that little bit of a almost like a smoke look but they are so glossy guys they look awesome they need a little wet sand and buff there's a few pieces of dust in them but uh, for the most part yeah that's that's looking awesome so I'm gonna glue the other side right now 
and then uh, I'll slap that one in and we're all set here and I'm gonna start assembling the front and uh, mess around with doing the cowl and so this one I did not have to use the heat gun on thankfully so went very well it's seated nicely clipped in everywhere uh, nice and flush and I guess all the glue was properly removed on this one and this is just how I do it some people reuse the factory stuff you probably could I got paint all over all that stuff so I you know I just wanted to reseal it silicone worked in my old headlights on my truck over there that I don't drive anymore but they never leaked I never had water in them and they were always sealed up really good I didn't ever have a vent these are gonna vent into the trunk so even if it does get uh, moisture in there they should be able to vent out in the back and hopefully I never end up with any water in here if I do I'll just drill a hole in it or something like that on the bottom but yeah they uh, look really good I'm pretty stoked I can't wait to throw this one on too, but I wanted to show you guys what it looks like off the car. So glossy, and it just really looks like, you know, a new lens, or even better, honestly. So I'm pretty stoked. It looks good. I'm going to go ahead and throw this one on the car, and I'll get it all fired up, and we can see what it looks like. And then I want to get this thing ready. So I got both sides all installed. Everything's tight. It's all back together. I'm freaking stoked. Oh my god, look at how cool. Finally, have tail lights. And they're black, even though it didn't make a huge difference. That little bit of gloss on there I think looks pretty cool. And, uh, you know, just kind of sets it off. So, this is it, guys. Um, just going to snap in my wiper arms here so we don't lose them. Uh, everything looks fantastic. It looks so awesome. It's all glossy, it's just like I wanted. Uh, I gotta get some more of these clips. I think I have some lying around. I gotta find them. I just threw one in. It's not going anywhere. And, uh, you know, I'm pretty, pretty excited. Because I think we're looking pretty good. I just gotta throw in our uh, windshield moldings and up here. And then the front end will be totally complete at that point. So I'm just piecing away at this. Um, this will all be just, you know, odds and ends, basically. But the test drive went well. I had a little bit of a rubbing noise in the back here and I fixed that. I'll take you guys for a ride when I'm not worried. I was trying to listen to the car, feel the car out. I had a clunk noise in the front end. I think I might have a bad upper control arm uh, or what do you call it, upper ball joint on this side because that was from a used control arm set that I got on the internet and I really just wanted them for the bushings but then I ended up using the arms because I didn't get the arms I wanted. So I'm pretty sure that there's a bad control arm over here so I'll check that tomorrow. Should be okay to drive on but I did hear a clunk, so we may have play there, never checked it, um, and I felt like the back end was kind of swaying. It could just be a characteristic of uh, the new setup without a sway bar, I'm not sure, so I do still want to get a sway bar for this thing. That's something I got to do with the junkyard at some point. If I find an EX, I'm going to get the sway bar, the master, the prop valve, all that stuff's going to come off the EX, so next time there's an EX at the junkyard, I'll pull mad parts. But anyway, I'm going to get this thing to work, do the alignment tomorrow. Hopefully, at least the toe adjustment so I can drive it and I'll worry about camber later. But other than that, this thing is ready to go. Um, yeah, stoked guys. Thank you for watching. And I know this is probably dragging on. This video is probably getting pretty long. I'm going to have to cut some parts out. But yeah, the taillights work great. I know I kind of didn't really show you like the best um, demonstration of them. But maybe I can uh, do that in the next video. And hopefully you guys are excited because I am just beyond happy. Finally, finally get to drive my car. It's been so long, you know, and I've been waiting. And uh, finally, the time is here. And it looks, like I imagined, just dirtier. <laughs> I just kind of washed this thing. So much pollen on it, but I'll get it all washed up. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really liking the way it's turning out. It's, it's, uh, it's really a thing of beauty. I'm pretty happy. Not often do I step back and look at something and go, wow, you know, that looks really good. That's done, you know, but I'm starting to think that about this. It's almost looking done. I need center caps, lug nuts, and, and some trim pieces here and there. But other than that, it's, it's pretty much visually exactly like I want it. So, yeah, really happy, guys. Hopefully you like it, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe to see this thing on the road, and, uh, you know, hit the bell so you get notified when I post videos and all that good stuff. And uh, check out the merch. I gotta make those stickers. I should be able to take some photos soon now that this thing's pretty much done. Photographs, pictures, 
stickers, all that good stuff. So should all be coming out soon. But uh, yeah, guys, thanks for your support. And uh, I really appreciate it. It's awesome. It's uh, really overwhelming. Everybody is always congratulating me and telling me such a what a good job I'm doing. And I'm really hard on myself. I'm my greatest enemy, to be honest. I'm, I'm my own worst enemy. I'm always beating myself up. But you guys always uh, tell me what a good job I'm doing. So <laughs> I appreciate that. It does help. And uh, it helps get stuff done because this car is getting done. <laughs>